Hello and welcome back to our 10 years later series in Louisville. Today, we're doing a whole lot of killing. I'm headed over to the Bat Factory here in Louisville. It's on the northern side along the water. Has this guy got a stop sign rammed through her chest? Sure enough. Huh. I might, I might keep that. I don't know... Axes were very low on my list of things to level. I'm doing long blunt because it's an easy way to level up maintenance skill. Very nice, very nice, light footed. Nah, not going to complain about that, but uh, yeah. I might keep it anyways. The sharpened stop sign is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool weapon. Out of all of the weapons that come with that mod, the Scrap Warrior mod, the Scrap Weapons mod, excuse me, that's pretty cool. Not gonna oh look at this. Hey guys. What's going on down here? What's, what's, what's everybody doing down here? What's going on? Uh, I miss I do miss our spears. Pretty soon here. Um I will probably just hard swap back the spears full time. Uh what I'm what I'm getting out of leveling this long blunt in the way I am. Uh I just find long blunt skill to be pretty useful uh, in a situation where I'm doing a lot of fighting. Uh, the crowbars are pretty durable weapons. I, I mean, everybody knows that, right? But because the crowbars are so durable, um, we can uh, roll in on our maintenance skill a little bit easier than using our using spears. Another strategy could have been I could have I could have gone just one hand blunt, just use like a hammer or something. Also, totally, totally viable, right? We're on times 5 XP. It doesn't really matter what we do. So long as, uh, I mean, we could do it with spears too. It'd just take a bunch of work, but we're doing pretty good on maintenance. We're pretty high. But this is frustrating, the amount of effort here it takes to kill these guys. Kind of annoyed by that. If you don't mind, madam, sir, please, uh, please stop. Cease all zombie activity in the vicinity, please, if you don't mind. I am going to go into the Louisville Bat Factory. Um, i going to just clear it out. Don't think I'm going to loot too many bats. I am a big fan of the... Oh, nice. Long one's good. I am a big fan of the spiked baseball bat and the chained baseball bat. Uh, can you do barbed wire with this mod? Like the Negan bat? I'm not sure, but uh, I think those are cool. Those are super cool. But, uh, got a crowbar. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's make our way over there. There's gonna be a few more of these guys over here. I used to... In one of my, before I was recording my series for YouTube, when I was playing games just by myself, I loved making this bat factory into a base. I don't know why necessarily. It's just kind of in a cool position. It's along the river. It's kind of close to downtown. It's just kind of a cool thing. And it's, it's so big. Plus, uh, on the far side, uh, I wasn't too familiar with the map or the game mechanics at the time. So uh, if you don't know... I hear a lot of zombies eating other people. I have to hunt those down. Sounds like someone's enjoying themselves some watermelon. But uh, on the, what would that be, the west side of the Bat Factory, there's a warehouse uh, that's connected to the actual factory part where they make the bats. And the warehouse has got a bunch of logs and stuff, but it's got roll-up doors, so you can make that into a big garage. It's got like four large roll-up doors. Used to love making this place into a uh, base. Plus, it's it's right here. You got everything you could ever want. Uh, I really liked uh, just sort of uh, doubling and tripling down on defenses here out front, uh, and just leaving um, oh, two boxes of nails. Very nice. I would only use a certain section of the area here, and specifically the upstairs. I think there's two staircases to get upstairs. Three, I think technically if you use the, yeah, the in the one in here, here's one of them eaten. So she's watching him eat. She's like, yeah, 
Yeah, that's how you do it. Get in there. Put your whole mouth down in there. That's how you get in there. But yeah, I think this um, the staircase here that leads up into the catwalk, I think this goes into the second floor of the office building portion of the factory. If you've never been here, this place makes baseball bats. Louisville Sluggers. So, um, and apparently just random mufflers here. But yeah, there's there's usually oodles of baseball bats. More than you could ever know what to do with. More than I could ever know what to do with. Get into the main section. Oh, was that... That looked like a zombie there. My mouse. No, that's a zombie. The way he faded in... Or no, he faded out. He was in when I showed up. But he the way he faded out kind of made it look like he might have been a mannequin. He's like, oh, I hear... I hear something juicy out there walking around. I don't want to bite that. Freaking zombies. I just... <laughs> the door just shoved his body out. That's weird. Not much good in here. Uh, I have been in this building so, 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 so many times on my solo games. Uh, not much in here. There is a kitchen. There's a full-blown kitchen, I think. No... I thought there was a stove here. Maybe I was using the stove in, in the one of the nearby buildings. Um, also, one of the nearby uh, storefronts. There's like these tall two-story shops nearby. They kind of surround the baseball bat factory. Here's some friends. Uh, I liked using those as bases too because the upstairs is a apartment. Uh, presumably the person who owns the shop downstairs. I'm not sure, but there's everything you need. Full-blown kitchen, bed, etc. up there. And uh, you could always... I liked to surround my building that I am in uh, with invulnerable walls. The uh, fence box fence. And then I would use the nearby building. And you would have to go into that building and I would board up all of the doors and windows so you'd have to go all the way up the two staircases to the roof and then on the roof you'd have to come over uh and i figured like you know the the chances of a zombie pathing all that way was nil plus you'd have airlocks built in every now and then so you have to go through double doors that way it prevents the uh, zombies from respawning but this is that garage i was talking about full of logs you can get rid of those you can get rid of these uh, these log piles. See if anything's up here. Nothing. The river is right behind us, so you have access to fish here. You could also just live in this garage. It's huge. Plenty of room. Those buildings right there, those are another spot I really enjoyed making uh, my base in. That's the, the two-story with the shop on the bottom and the apartment on the top that I liked. Got some friends coming over. Sir? Sir? If you don't mind, could you back off? Thank you. Here's the back side of the bat factory. I was just seeing if there were any zombies over here before I go and make a racket. I'm planning on hot wiring that ambulance. It's in the parking lot, and I'm just going to flip on the siren. See if we can pull the zombies out nearby. Still have installed that mod that uh, fixes zombies in buildings, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to go building to building because these, these buildings will be uh, sort of intense clearing. Nice. One shot. Ooh, yeah. One shot. Let's feel it. Come and get some zombies. Oh, no one saw that. That was a swing and a miss. A swing and a miss. Here we go. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I'm thinking the next series we do is going to be back to insanely rare loot and insane population. It's been a minute since we've done it, so I feel like I feel like we need to go back to our roots and uh, check out uh, some some high population high population settings. Nothing in the Gigamart. Oh well. Oh well. Got the van here. Uh, not van. Ambulance. I mean, it is kind of a van. More of a truck. But I am going to 
Oh, we're gonna have to get some. We're gonna have to get some gas for this, aren't we? Forty-two percent. Oh no, that's the. Uh, okay, it's at zero. Okay, so there was a. There was a water bottle in the Gigamart truck. I might. I think I'm pretty sure you can use glass bottles. I, I might be wrong. It might have to be plastic, but I think you can. No, almost positive you can. Uh, we will. There's probably fuel in that nice truck right there, the one to the south. Usually these are like uh, locked and have fuel, so we'll get we'll pull some fuel out of this uh, via magic. I'll just wiggle my fingers and the fuel will come up out of the gas tank into our bottle. And we don't need a rubber hose or a uh, turkey baster or any of that stuff. All right. I'm just going to park this bad boy over here and we're going to flip on the sirens. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Oh my God. What the freaking F? Holy crap. I'm going to run away from this. Jesus F and Oh my God. All right, whatever modder is in charge of that, you need to you need to adjust your volume settings. Good lord, is that loud? I'm gonna kill. Oh god, we're gonna kill. Oh my god, I kind of regret turning it on. I'm gonna kill some zombies here and then see if we can pull some more over. Out of the way. Um. I would like to go in a few of these buildings so that these zombies are like set and they'll come out. Let's see if anyone's out front. This is so loud. Oh my god. I will turn this down in the video when I render it, but this is so unbelievably loud. I can't even hear myself think. It is so loud. Holy crap. Why did he set that to be that loud? Ooh, out of the way, out of the way. Another thing I can do too, I'll probably do it. Um, I have got that shotgun with seven shells in it, I believe. Oh, it's so much better, I can hear myself. I've got that shotgun. I'll probably use that shotgun, the seven shots, because uh, I'm not sure about these modded vehicles, but the shotgun might actually be a, a louder sound radius to pull some zombies over. There's quite a few out there. Meh, yeah, not too bad. I can't hear myself think, but it's shotgun time. I'm gonna fire the shotgun a few times. Get their attention. I'm gonna just kinda push through these guys and turn around and shotgun a few more of them. I'm just gonna use up the shells, put this thing back in my backpack. Call it good. Uh, it's jammed. Good god, this is so loud. Hopefully I remember to turn this down for you guys. And that's it. Got two skill levels out of that, though. Okay, I, that was a lot. Uh, I am level two exhausted, closing in on level three exhausted. Uh, going to uh, 
We're just going to chill in the bus for uh, a minute or two, catch our breath, really meditate on our life's decisions. Also consider taking the bus back to base. God, that thing is still going. Oh, oh. I'm going to go turn it off. Okay. I, what I would like to do is not mute that last three seconds of this iron being on, and hopefully that'll come through in the video. And then you don't have to listen to it being blaring loud, and I'll actually remember to mute it earlier, but that was so freaking loud. Oh my dear God. Okay. So, I'm going to continue on our exploration mission here as we go through Louisville, pushing our way down, pushing our way into downtown Louisville. Um, I may just bring, I may bring our vehicle up and around, honestly. I got the camper. And the mini. Uh, oh, I never unloaded this. Oh, wow, I never, yeah, this bad boy is full. Um, it's even got bags of plaster in there. I had no idea. I had no idea it was this full. I was going to grab my spears, but uh, I I decided not to. I decided not to. We'll just stick with the long blunt for now. I just kill a little slower. We're going to um, basically just I'm gonna I'm gonna scooch scooch on a little bit closer. Uh, we pulled a lot of zombies out of this little area here, so I'm gonna go over like maybe one or two blocks and potentially do the same thing, and we'll just kind of do that. I know we're not full clearing the buildings, like every single zombie like we did in Raven Creek series, but uh, we're definitely putting a huge dent in the, amount, in the population here in Louisville. Uh, I think it's left. Where am I? Yeah, left, okay. Um, that's what I was gonna say. The other thing about that Louisville Bat Factory and those little, uh, those little, uh, shops as little bases so you're right next to the river you're also right next to this gas station right here which is nice nice little group of zombies here let's kill these guys hey guys oh, look at that truck look at that truck some kind of crazy drivers going on in here jack must have been up in there or something driving those trucks Wrecking everything. I haven't cleared this gas station. Something might be behind me. Oh, there is. One sir with his nice blue shoes on. Hunting knife in that guy. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Alright, very good. Decided to add the gas station to the clear list. It's right here, may as well, right? I don't really need anything, but these magazine racks sometimes have got recipe magazines on them. And maps, if we find a map we don't need. Plus, uh, we might get lucky back here with some, like, uh, doodads. And I'm mostly looking for nails, if I'm being honest. But here we go, here's some magazines. So, we're kind of hoping to just get lucky with some of this stuff. I'll take the key. No reason not to. This metal working. Got it. Okay. Um, not after any of this food. We're still we're still losing weight. It's wild that we uh how long it takes to lose the weight. Absolutely wild. Where okay, so let's mark a few of this stuff off. So that we can kind of keep track a little bit. Um um, now, the map shows some gray spl splotches back here, and I wanted to scoop that out. So it's just a parking lot. Okay. Just a great big parking lot. Probably for one of the businesses nearby. Oh, this is a big blue one. Or those apartments. One of the two. Uh, we don't, we're don't. we not worried about any of that. Let's check the bathroom. Hello. Hello. Okay. On some friends. Check it out. Check it out. Time to beat them down. Oh, 
Okay, that was an awful lot of killing. My god. But I did it in lightning speed. Or at least I should have done it in lightning speed. I have made a note to myself to say to speed up that long section of fighting. But there's a high chance that I that I didn't do that. But So either two things happened. You just watched 30 minutes of me hitting zombies, uh, breathing heavily into the mic, or I remembered to speed it up. Look at these guys. I'm just trying to rest, and these freaking guys see me from a mile away. That guy saw me. From behind. Now, I've got an armored windshield on the back of the Mini. He saw me through that little hole and saw me sitting in there. What was I, what was I in there doing? Was I just, like, click, clicking the uh, flashlight? Like, click, 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 trying to get their attention, like, waving at them? Woo! I'm over here. I'm sitting in the Mini. Everybody freaking sees me, man. Look at this guy. He's gonna come right towards me. Ah, I see you. I'm coming over. What the heck? What the heck? If, how, how are the zombies able to visually differentiate between me and other zombies in this case? Because I'm like in a vehicle behind a windshield, behind armored windshield, through a crack, and they can see me and they're like, I see you in there hiding. It's some kind of voodoo black magic stuff, man. They, they got like some kind of vision that can see like, like heat thermal vision or something. What was that in World... Uh, was it... Was it World War Z, where the zombies could see if you were sick or not? Maybe they got something like that. They could tell who's infected already or not. New target. Got this building right here. I don't know what it is, because it's all overgrown. Uh, kind of looks like it might be a uh, radio? Radio building, maybe? I, the way the lettering is. Although I think it is a yellow building, so what would a yellow- yellow would be entertaining- Oh, I guess maybe that could be radio, but... TV, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna just kind of shout a few times here, get- get their attention. See- see if we can get anyone coming on out. Um, it seems like the zombies- I'm close enough to the building, so the zombies should be active within and on the higher floors. So do this a few times. Come on over- Oh gosh! Thinking, thinking they could come up behind you. Who in the world do you think you are, man? These freaking zombies, eagle eyed vision, sneaking. It's always Fred, too. Fred's always like, I'm gonna get you from behind. He's never like coming at you. He's never, he's never coming at you, uh, like, with all the other zombies in a group. No, 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 no. Fred's always like, mm, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a loop de loop. Come up behind them, bite them right, right in the groin. Never see it coming. Backing into another building here, getting kind of nervous. We are still struggling with stamina usage. I have got to lose this weight. We're so close to. I really considered just skipping days before recording, but I didn't feel like it. It's just a waste of time. We may as well use it, right? Got a lot of killing here. Got a lot. We're gonna do a lot of killing. I... I'm not sure how many zombies are coming up, but I'm thinking if there's another huge group of zombies that comes out, we'll do it in... Uh, lightning speed. I've been gradually... I've got written down that I'm gonna do three of them so far. We'll do a, a slow one. Faster and then an even faster. Let's see see what this comes out to if I start speeding it up to eight hundred to a thousand percent. I need to find a vehicle to rest in. A cop car will work. See now these zombies don't see me. Look at them. They're like, I don't I don't see nothing. What's up with that? Hello? Hello? What's up with that? I just don't like the mini, maybe. Maybe the mini is coded wrong, and it's I, how funny would that be? I want to rec I want to make a mod. I'm gonna learn how to make a mod. I'm gonna make like a really high definition vehicle, and uh, it'll have like all the doodads, like the doors open, the hoods open. You can replace the parts uh, and like armor it and put like bull bars and like uh, shovels on the front. Uh, but, but, here's the key. 
the vehicle will silently be pulsing out sound. The player won't know it unless they're paying attention to the zombies nearby. And all the zombies will start coming closer. Or do that for like an item. Like, oh, here's, check out my modded crowbar. It actually like pulls zombies nearby or something. Or it's broke. Be kind of funny. See how long it takes people to pop. This is a lot of zombies. Yes, I am in your building now, zombies. What are you going to do about it? Why did I come in here? I'm uh, low on stamina. I was just excited to come into the building finally, you know? Die. Get stomped. Hmm. Excellent. Well, let's see what else is in here. There's probably another chunky group of zombies coming up. I had to take a wild guess. So I'm picking up a lot of hunting knives just for spears. I'm just going to toss them onto our spears. I thought I could rest on these chairs, but I cannot. There's an awful lot of zombies falling off of the uh, balcony up here. They're coming to say hi. They're just coming to take a little nibble. I just want a little nibble. Just want to nibble on our butt. Oh, what? That was a kill. Come on. Oh, it's time to leave, man. I am level two exhausted. We're going to be swinging forever. Look at this cowboy. What are you doing? Get out of here. What you doing here at the TV station? This is taking so long. Swing, 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 kill, swing, swing. It's like, it feels like we're back to like having no strength and no uh, skill in our weapon. We'll get down this low. I don't have any panic right now though, that's interesting. Did we finally get desensitized? Need a lot of kills. We killed a lot of zombies today though. I don't think we've killed enough. I want to say it's high. Very high. Well, it used to be high. I know they look. Oh, check out this suburban right here. This is cool. Okay. All right. Check this thing out. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, this was a heavy, heavy killing episode. I'm probably going to cut out a lot of that uh, or speed it up. Killing. Uh, and I'm going to steal this vehicle. Just for the heck of it. It's nice looking. But yeah, hey, thanks for thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh come join us on our join us on our multiplayer server. Uh we'll get a bunch of people hanging out, having fun. They're on the Lyceum Island. Uh, which is just west of West Point, if you want to play with us. I was just seeing if the light bar worked on the top. It doesn't appear to work. Maybe it's not actually installed. I'm not sure. But uh yeah. Either way, I really appreciate everyone uh, hanging out with me. I love all the kind words. I love meeting everybody. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.